What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're all well. If you're new around here and you don't already know, this is the place for any footballers looking to improve at their footballing game. It's been a while since I've done one of these match day vlogs and that's what I've got on the cards for you lot today. I hope you all enjoyed my last video against Man City. I've got something better in store. This is the first video of its kind today. It's a match day vlog with a a little twist shall we say and I'm sure you guys are gonna absolutely love this one. So it's Friday today, day before we play Morecambe at home tomorrow and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I like to prepare for games. I'm gonna get myself to the training ground in a minute, show you a little bit of team training, come back here, show you how I prepare tonight the evening before a game and then it's gonna be to the stadium tomorrow for the big game against Morecambe. So let's get ourselves to the training ground now. Actually before we get gone, I've got something to show you guys. In the week on Tuesday, we played against Shrewsbury, managed to get a little goal, and we actually won 2 1. So, here it is Team of the Week. Beautiful. That is my first Team of the Week of the season. I think I was like, someone said to me, that's tough, that's your fifth Team of the Week in. Uh, 20 games so absolutely buzzing with that i'll take that one in four gotta be happy so um long may that continue hopefully i get another goal tomorrow and end up in uh, team in a week again imagine that back-to-back -back team in a weeks that would be uh, that would be unbelievable but anyway guys um if you don't know already you haven't downloaded it the gym program is in the description below make sure you click that link and for any of you guys who download the stamina program I'm going to be choosing one lucky winner to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me for as long as you want. Don't miss out on that one. And something I forgot to mention in the Man City video, um, which I should have told you guys, is after playing against Shrewsbury in the league, um, one massive difference between the Shrewsbury players and the Man City players was just the levels of fitness that the Man City players had. The amount they ran in that game was absolutely frightening. Uh, it was confirmed because one of our uh, strength and conditioning coaches here, he managed to get all the running stats up after the game and he compared how much high speed running and sprint distance we did compared to Man City and some of their numbers that they were coming out with, absolutely frightening, you know. It just goes to show you how fit these top players actually are and even the likes of Mares and um, KDB, Foden, Sterling, Mares in particular because a lot of people may look at him and think oh, he doesn't graph for the team but the numbers that he was producing, pff, honestly, absolutely insane. So not only are these guys geniuses when it comes to their technical ability, but off the ball, they are scarily fit. Um, and it's only when you're up playing against them, you really realize, wow, like, I remember I was looking at KDB in the 80th minute and I was just thinking, wow. He's still pressing like that 80, 85 minutes into the game and that's always been um, Pep's tactics, hasn't it? As soon as you lose the ball, get it back, react. But you can't do that unless you're, you're, you're that fit. And um, it's not only that. I was also thinking, about, I remember I had a moment in the game where I was thinking to myself, this guy is like just driving with the ball through midfield 80 minutes into the game and he's still able to execute uh, the perfect through ball because his stamina levels are that good that it doesn't matter what minute of the game it's in, he is able to still have the same levels of technique towards the end of the game as he, as he does in minute one. So it's absolutely, absolutely frightening. You know, you gotta, you gotta take your hat off to these guys. Um, they're not at the top of the game for for no reason, you know, they put in the hours of, um, of graft and uh, they've dedicated themselves to building up those levels of stamina. And these guys haven't achieved them sort of stamina levels just by doing any old running sessions um, at training. There are certain running drills and fitness sessions that you can do in order to make yourself incredibly fit and be able to coast through games without having any issues and um, also making sure that your technique stays 
at its absolute maximum from minute one. And I know that's what a lot of players struggle with, building stamina, being able to last 90 minutes. It's not until you see these guys and you think, wow, that is another level. Um, it makes you realize that you're not as fit as you think you are until you play against these top, top guys who are able to run all day long and perform at the same level from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. It opens your eyes up, you know, and you think, I've got to get fit here. I've got, I, I want to get to that level. So I know there's a lot of you who have struggled with your stamina levels. I've had a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram, YouTube, and, uh, and in the Facebook group saying that um, they wanted to improve their fitness level. So what I've done is I've created a 28 day stamina program that focuses on building this level of fitness like these top players have got. And if any of you guys have any questions about it, drop them down in the comments below. Um, I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. So get downloading, you guys will love it. And um, I'm gonna get myself to training. All right, training done. And as soon as I get back from training, what I love to do is jump on the Normatex. Um, it's all about recovery now and the build up to tomorrow's game. And while I'm on these, it gives me an opportunity to jump on a laptop and get on Y Scout. And what I'll do is I'll start watching a lot of the opposition's um, players and see what they're good at, what they're not so good at, what their tendencies are. Um, and this is a really good one. I'll show you guys how I analyze uh, the opposition. I mainly watch the centre forwards, but I do watch other positions as well. Their centre forwards tomorrow is actually on fire at the minute. Not only is he the top scorer in our league, but he's also scored the most goals in the country as it stands. I think he's on 11 goals, so he started um, really well. I've been watching um, the striker slip for about 15 20 minutes now, and one thing that he's very good at, and I've noticed. Um, it a lot now is when the ball comes into him as you can see here he tries to draw in the defenders but what I have noticed is that when he tries to roll players he'll always he'll always roll onto his um, onto his right foot so there's not many times where he'll get his, he'll get his back into you draw you in and um, roll onto his left. So it happens again here. Ball gets played into him, gets it out of his feet onto his right foot to try and work the shot. See that? It's a good finish to be fair to him. I've noticed it a few times. Another one here in the box. Ball played into his feet. He doesn't want to go left. He's always going on, going onto his right. And that's something that Morecambe will try and do. Um, they'll try and get it into their main man's feet in and around the box. So as defenders tomorrow, we've got to make sure that we don't get pinned. And if we do, worst case, keep the main man on his left foot because he wants to come on his right and he wants to let fire. Um, it seems like everything he's touching at the minute is hitting the back of the net. So try and nullify him. What I like to do is also analyze how they defend the corners. So as you can see here, they're playing against Blackburn and the Morecambe players obviously don't mark zonally, they get touched tight with their men, which I've noticed in a few of their clips now, there's a lot of space in this back area here. So if I can isolate myself 1v1, in this area here, I'll back myself to uh, to cause a bit of mayhem and um, 
win the header. As you can see on this clip as well, same sort, sort of thing, the Blackburn players attract all the Morgan players and the Blackburn's 36 here, he normally gets, he nearly gets three round the back unmarked. So that's something that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and look out for tomorrow, get round the back and hopefully um, get some joining around this area here. All right, so I've just got a couple of minutes left on Normatex. Um, I've watched a whole load of Morecambe now, so I'm very well prepared going into tomorrow's game. And then I'll eat food, and before I go to sleep tonight, just really start focusing on the game, um, start visualising how I hope the game's going to go, prepare myself in case it does go wrong, uh, visualise myself doing good things, a bit of meditation before bed, and then I'll make sure I get an early night. And that's me guys, so the next time you'll see me, we'll be at the game tomorrow. Come on boys, eh? Start right in here. Come on. Love it, boys. Love it so. Yes, tools. Bossy. Bossy. Nice, Nice, B. Nice, B. Love it, down. Well done. Time. Get it back. Love it, B. Time! Go see. Switch! Come on, then, boys. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, boys. Hey, oi, fuck it, good start. Come on. Get yourselves going. Come on, eh? Tuesday left. Jay. You, Jay. Up, Jay. Time. Man on tools. Relax, relax. Really hard. Tuesday, the switch on now. Jay up. Tuesday round! Okay, hang. Tuesday, different class, Tuesday. Tuesday, be away here. Left tools, left and tight. G. Locking tools. Okay, switch on. Jay, turn, turn. Down. Tools organized. Time, time, tools. Tools left. Tools. Jay, open. Jay! Man on Jay! Yes, yes! Jay, it's here! Jay!
Jay, here. Jay. JJ early! JJ early, early! Get up quickly, yeah, if we can. Jay, toes. Brace, Jay. Relax, relax. Turn, turn. Time. Cut. George, be aware of toes. Toes, you around, yeah? Toosie drop! Time, time, time. Toosie rush. Turn, turn, turn. Step, step down. Josh, 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 you know when we attack, you do the deepest one. You do the deepest striker floating around when we attack. Huh? When we attack. When we attack. That's because Kurt's locking on. Fucking love it, go. Fucking love it. Cruising. Make sure Jay comes in as well when we're attacking. Jay! Up, oh, toes! Toes left! Behind you! Jay! Jay! 
When JJ's gone, make sure you come down. Jay, you get another one, Jay. Josh, jog, jog. Oi, 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 switch on now. Ref, ref. Watch the block. Watch him up properly, eh? Two touch, Diag. Two touch, Do it. Who's in? Go see. Stay there. If it goes to corner, that's Do one hang. Everyone's staying out now. Next one, hang. Tools, you want to block your man? Huh? You want to block your man? Who's marking you? Well, take your man in either one. No, he's not going back. He won't do it this time. He won't do it, so don't go back. Now, don't start on it, cut, go into out. Ref, ref, he saved it. Ref, ref, yeah, Josh, up, up, Josh. Come on, come on. 
Talk to me about that game then. Oh my god, what a roller coaster. 2 0 down at half time, and we end up turning it around to win 4 3. Crazy scenes, crazy, crazy scenes. And what better game to pick, eh? To do um, mic'd up for the first time. Oh, unbelievable. It was so, so good, so good. And can you believe that the, uh, the analysis work paid off the corner? to bring it back to 3 all, you know, attack the back stick. I said to you, that, to you guys that they would be um, vulnerable there. And the main man didn't score for them. So it's good, to, it's good to know that the hard work pays off. Obviously, we can tighten up a little bit defensively. We don't re really want to be conceding three goals at home, but great team spirit from the boys to turn it back around. So anyway, mic'd up. I hope you guys enjoyed the new feature. Let me know what you think of it. Um, it's something I'm definitely going to be doing more of in the future. Uh, definitely for most home games, I think, anyway. It's easier to do it at home. I hope it gave you guys a little insight into what it's actually like on the football pitch. Get a real feel for it. Um, how much we communicate, the kind of things that we say, um, how we react to conceding goals, scoring goals. I'm hoping you guys learn a thing or two and you can really try and implement them into, uh, into your own game. So thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Gillingham at home next. Hoping for another win and uh, I'll see you there.